Okay, folks, going to be doing a review for the AGR, which is a tank setup. And it comes like this in this massive box. And the reason that the box is so massive is because it comes with two tanks. The two tanks, one of them is larger than the other and that is for XL Cardos and the smaller one is for the standard size Cardos. I wish that it would have come with two caps so that you can have both tanks at the same time going. If you have multiple PVs you have the XL Cardos and the standard size Cardos. If you have XL Cardos and the standard size Cardos it would be nice to be able to switch back and forth. But it is nice of them to have included the XL Cardo tank so that you have a choice. Okay. So, With that being said, here it is with a Bogue. This is a 3 ohm Bogue and I actually am registering it at 2.8 ohms and so I'm going to go up to 4.5 volts that seems to be the sweet spot with the Segeli okay and um, one good thing about this tank is that when you go to fill it you do have to remove the drip tip so that you can get to this little screw here it's knurled so it's easy to take off and on okay it is a little bit long winded but that's okay because if it starts to come loose most likely you'll you'll have a visual before you lose the screws so uh, with that being said it has never came loose on me I've used this for four days now and it's it's been a great device it, it really like this tank I like this tank better than I like the Airy Act 3 tank that I have <coughs> and the reason being is because you can get this puppy fooled up all the way to the brim okay you can vape it all the way down probably and refill it. If you're going to do it that way I suggest that you vape a little bit of juice out of the cardo first because some juice could get pushed into the cardo therefore if the cardo is drier or on the dry side then any juice that does get pushed down in there prematurely will just soak up into the the packing that's inside the cardo. Okay, so here we go let me just show you guys what it's vaping like and then we'll talk a little bit more about it there is just a couple more features that I'll, I need to mention it's nice I like it <laughs> it's pretty dang nice alright um, a couple of the features I want to mention on this is that this is just kind of weird but the o-rings aren't really super tight so this thing moves what I've realized is that sometimes your lips can touch this stud right here so it's kind of cool to be able to turn this and put it to where like say this is one of my lips and this is the other lip <laughs> and, it, and it comes down like this therefore it kind of rules out the chance that your lip is going to be all over this stud right here okay there is threads on the tanks so these caps actually screw on and off okay they don't push on or anything like that which I think is a good feature because it's just less room for failure okay and what I mean is like the tank coming apart and you spilling your juice out all over the place okay another thing is is that this section down here is actually a separate piece and how you load this is you just push the cardo in and it sticks out the bottom where this small chrome lip is okay and then this bottom piece screws in to the cardo 
and that's how it holds it all together and you have four air channels there are actually two but they go all the way through so when it's closed there's four there's four air gaps right there so you get plenty of airflow with this okay and then down here at the bottom obviously it has a 510 connection and this is actually hollow in the inside so it's kind of like a skirt that hangs down and then it's got what would be a 510 male to 510 female at the top area and when you screw your cardo into the female section you then will screw the male section into the 510 connection on the PV. I'm going to show you how it vapes and we'll conclude the review. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is this Cardo Punch. Okay, this is made by the same people that made the tank. And this right here is a lot easier and a lot better than using the good old saddle valve. Okay, the reason being is the saddle valve causes the uh, Cardo to flare when you punch. This one here, the Cardo fits in there nice and snug, therefore it doesn't distort the shape and it makes it a lot easier on your O-rings. Okay, now I've only used this thing once, but it is night and day. It's worth every penny. It looks really good and it saves a lot of space. Okay, this thing here takes up a lot of real estate. And this one here is I mean, you can stick this in your pocket, you'd hardly know it was there. So, <clears throat> really nice. I definitely recommend this. Uh, it looks like it's got a hole here for hanging it up. You, if you wanted to hang it up on something, you wanted to hang it around your neck, I don't know why you would. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the Cardo Punch. So, really nice, really cool. I like it, I recommend it. Uh, one thing some people have said is that after you use these for a while, the point starts to distort. So it's pretty nice that on this one, you can take the stud all the way out, and you can put it on a grinder and grind it down a little bit more just to prolong the life of it. Okay. So... You can get quite a bit of use out of this, I would imagine, before you would need to get another one. Okay, I got lucky and got this in a co-op. I think it was like $4, so I was ordering a bunch of other stuff at the time. So I snagged one up just to try it, and I'm glad that I did. Alright guys, that's the Cardo Punch.